my wild knitting podcast. This is episode 13, I think, and it's been a while. July was absolutely rough and eclectic. We don't go into the details, but now we're here. Another podcast episode, we're doing it. I hope I'll be able to be efficient, but I don't think so because um, kind of postponed to record a podcast because I'm like, I can add it later and I can finish this project and then like I have so many garments or projects stacking up and now I have to talk for so long, so buckle up. I'll try to be whatever efficient. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Just I have two drinks <laughs> with me today because I need to keep myself hydrated. This is water with orzata. It's an Italian thing, <laughs> I guess. Um, it has almond and sugar and lemon juice or lemon extract and vanilla extract and it's this kind of like syrupy drink that you add in your water to kind of keep to have your water a little bit flavored and it's very refreshing and tasty love it love it one day probably I'll be able to make it but not to these days Okay, so welcome. If you're new here, I hope you'll enjoy this wild content. We don't share only knitting related content. I want to share many other things. It's just that I feel that the algorithm is pushing me to share only a specific type of content, but I'm gonna keep being strong and publish whatever I want to publish and I hope you'll enjoy it, but I know that many of you are or have subscribed um, because of my knitting related content. I just can't do only one thing and I want to be able to share recipes, foraging tips and tricks and other crafts and lifestyle vlog whatever type of videos so just so you know if you want to subscribe you will have a very wide range type of content you will have a different type of content from from me depending on what I'll feel like sharing so yeah just so you know what you subscribe to <laughs> if you want to subscribe and I will really appreciate it that will help the channel will help me to feel supported and continue to create things otherwise there's no point in sharing right um, so if you subscribe thank you so much and if you've been here for a while now I absolutely you know it I absolutely appreciate and love your support. I feel absolutely overwhelmed and grateful and loved. I feel loved. So <clears throat> I had my notes here. I wrote down the things that I have to, I want to, sh to share with you and tell you because it, it's quite a lot of stuff. I'm sitting, um, at here on the stairs of our house outside because I like it I wanted to sit in the balcony but there was too much sun and the camera would get overheated so yes we're sitting next to this beautiful magnolia tree um, she has been struggling, but now she's doing great, aren't you? And um, beautiful, beautiful basil 
plant next to me and this is another amazing adaptogen plant I don't remember her name um, this was gifted to me by an herbalist in the area here and I've been bringing it with me uh, everywhere and the leaves look like this <laughs> I know they look like another plant but it's not and um, you can eat the leaves and it is kind of like an adaptogen plant so it kind of finds the little issues in your bodies and try to rebalance the normal state of your body it's an adaptogen look it up i absolutely don't remember the name though i'm sorry but i love it tastes like a mix of between like a fresh cucumberish taste and licorice i absolutely love it thank you <laughs> and then we have a bit sadly looking um what is this a uh, calendula plant here it's a bit sad because she's being eaten by bugs but we'll but we're managing that okay so we're here we're doing it let's just dive into the knitting related content i've been talking for almost 10 minutes and we're not we didn't even start so let's start with what i'm wearing because it's actually a finished object and um, i've been wanting to knit this pattern in this color for a while now but i couldn't really find the yarn and then uh, on a uh, our trip to visit Mika's family in Sweden, in Stockholm, I found uh, a yarn that I wanted to try and I bought it in this black color. The yarn is Line by Sunnesgarn. It's a Norwegian company. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. And it's this uh, really nice, I mean, it's black. <laughs> Um, there's, there's not much to say and it's the color 1099 and to be honest I don't really understand like I think they it's kind of like a marketing strategy to call it linen linen um, because it doesn't have so much linen it has 14 14 one four percent um, 14 percent of linen and the rest is 53% cotton and 33% viscose. I believe it's really similar um, composition of fibers as the Drops Bell, which is another very similar yarn. Um, I don't like the fact that it has so much cotton and viscose and so little linen and they still call it linen. For me, I'm like, who are you trying to fool? Uh, <laughs> But um, I liked it, I like to knit on it, I just want to see how it holds up in time. Uh, but to be honest, I would much prefer a yarn like Boumoulin by Drops Design that has probably like 50% linen, 50% cotton, something like that. So it's really like that has a balanced amount of linen and is called Boumoulin so it has a very clear name cotton and linen Boumoulin it, it means cotton linen so I would recommend that instead of this but I didn't hate it and didn't dislike it I, I like to knit on it uh, it was nice on my hands it splits a bit to be honest but I didn't mind that too much. I bought uh, three skeins. Each skein is 50, is 50 gram and 110 meters approximately. Uh, and I used two skeins. This is the leftover from the first skein. And I decided, it will take a while, but I decided that I want to use up all of the scraps and uh, extra one skein yarns that I have and make some sort of like 
either like a crazy blanket which I've said before then I didn't do it or like a shawl or like we'll see but I want to use all of the extra skeins I have um, love this project it's um, I kind of took inspiration from the ripple bralette which you probably if you've been here before you know is one of my favorite patterns to knit I have another one here that I've been wearing a lot and this um, I showed it before and I kind of took inspiration and kind of kind of copied the stitch pattern so three by three ribbing plus I've done some of the decreases that she suggests the designer but I modified it heavily I cast it on 110 stitches instead of whatever stitch count and um, the back is different I don't know how much you can see though it's kind of like that and the front straps are wider than a normal ripple bralette some modification I can't really tell you the specific modifications I've done because I know this pattern so well that I kind of modify it modify it as I go in, and I don't write any notes or you know which I know I should but I just want to put a little disclaimer here I absolutely this channel I want to give you I want to help you and I want to inspire you with my knitting projects and other type of projects but I'm not a precise or perfectionist person with some things I could be but I'm I, I'm kind of a little wild this is why this channel is called we grow wild um, I try to make things that give me joy and be like very it's not that I try it's just what I do <laughs> and uh, sometimes most of the time I buy a pattern and then do a lot of modifications that are maybe subtle but I don't I very seldomly follow a pattern to the detail if that makes sense so I'm sorry if I'm not able to give you the exact details and modification I've done but yeah the stitch count is different the shoulder straps are wider so I didn't decrease as much and the back uh, looks a bit like I guess this top in the, the when it comes to the, the design aesthetic it looks a bit in between the my secret crop and my uh, the ripple bralette both patterns are from Jessie Major design that's what I can say I guess okay so very happy to have to own this in black now I can uh, I can use it in the garden and not worry about dirting it and we'll see how this fabric will hold I hope it will last a very long time because uh, yeah that would be really nice so first finish object I finished it in probably like three four days uh, we were traveling from Stockholm to Soleftio which took eight hours on the bus eight hours one way and eight hours another way so 16 hours intense I've been knitting this most of the time and it was and I almost kind of finished it during that bus ride beautiful and so that's my first finish object then I have another finish object that I showed as a whip in my previous podcast episode so this I finished it long ago <clears throat> it has I'm kind of happy but not 100% satisfied with this and this is the 
uh, I called it protect my lady bra uh, because it's kind of like a bra that I knitted for myself I don't use bras so much I hope the wind doesn't bother you um, so I kind of designed my own bra pattern but there are things that I will change if I would knit this again I will do these decreases and increases a bit less abruptly so it doesn't create this little puffiness here I don't know how to explain that and I would um, probably the bottom hem ribbed bottom hem is kind of like stretching out so it doesn't it's not really tight under my ladies and that's uh, something that I would change probably I said it before what I want to do is a I want to add a elastic band probably here so it will shrink in shrink in how do you say it so yeah but I'm really happy with the with the textile that I created here uh, I used a linen no sorry a bamboo yarn and a silk yarn these are two cones from different brands silk city fibers color walnut 628 and campolmi roberto filati the white silk 100 silk cone love this yarn i've been using it so much and i'm using these two yarns uh, or cones for another project that i'll show you later almost finished with the silk one um, love this one was gifted to me by Ali my lovely friend Ali and uh, love it uh, love them and I really like the fabric I used a needle size 2.25 to create a very kind of tight fabric to kind of give coverage and I love it I've been wearing it a lot but it's quite it's quite um, big this bra which is fine but um, yeah I'll uh, do some modification when I'll knit it again like it so second finish object and then we enter in the realm of socks because let me just change position I never been a sock knitter never had the so-called sock mojo maybe a little but not so much and let me tell you this past month I have been a, a sock knitter sock mojo thank you for being here we love you <laughs> I think is um, my sock mojo is back because I'm done with knitting summer tops the last words and then she's probably knitting another summer top but <laughs> I have so many summer tops that I don't really need extra ones and I know that I will need socks for the winter the past winter I've been wearing one pair of knitted socks over and over again and they are absolutely finished <laughs> Um, so I'm really happy I can make more socks to pr to keep my feet warm and also maybe gift them we'll see and these are not really winter socks though uh, these are summer kind of socks because I used a cotton and viscose I guess yarn this is the regia cotton yarn and it's the color watermelon as you can see very fun very fun stripe self striping yarn i have still quite a lot lot left i had two skeins and i used half of one for this if that makes sense uh, i think it's like about two, 400 meters something like that per 100 grams i guess and um, I knitted also a top with this yarn, love it. Um, I have another yarn that I started but then I unraveled. This is the papaya color and it's the same 
brand Regia and I could knit another pair but I decided that I would like to knit socks that I actually will use a lot in the winter but I have been using these ones a lot the past month especially when I was in Stockholm that it, it was cooler and you know I needed my feet to be a bit warmer and these are vanilla socks I used the pattern uh, everyday socks by Petite Knit and I absolutely love that pattern I think it became my favorite way and pattern to knit uh, socks so I'll use that pattern over and over again until I want to experiment um, some lace or whatever type of pattern for socks and um, absolutely satisfied with these ones I liked the yarn but as I said I would like to knit socks that are kind of warmer and I can uh, use in the winter because here the winter is absolutely cold and um, this house is not good for the winter let's say let's not dive into that for now right I guess it's getting a bit dark for some reason I don't know I hope is it okay well fun socks um, this pattern I love the construction of this pattern is so easy I already learned it I'm not even following it anymore um, in this terms of like in the sense that I don't need to look at my phone or at the pattern because I already know how it works and um, I it's a calf down construction and then you knit a German short row heel and and then you keep knitting the foot and then you decrease for the for the toe love this having the time of my life knitting socks these days <laughs> absolutely love this I think I was very much influenced by Lisa's knit club lover channel Thank you, Lisa. Uh, she knits beautiful socks. So I got inspired by her and by Heather and Hop's cat from Heather and Hop's. She's also having a sock mojo at the moment. We're all there. So very happy. And this is my third finish object. And then I have a fourth finish object, which is socks as well. <laughs> and this is in a amazing yarn this is probably my favorite sock yarn sorry if i'm not having like, sock blockers i have this thing this one but it's not really a sock blocker i just i have a plan I asked Mika if he can make me sock blockers, but I could also make them myself, you know, um, in wood. But, so, this yarn is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Mondim yarn by Retrosaria Rosa Pomar, which is a Portuguese brand, and he's 100% Portuguese wool, so it's technically... It's a sock yarn in terms of weight um, and yardage, but it doesn't have any nylon or, you know, synthetic fiber content. So we'll see how this will hold up. I hope it will, because I love this color and I love these socks. Um, I blocked them already. I guess this is the right color. It's a deep, dark rust color. And this is the color 302, I think. I have it here. Yay. There it is. Beautiful, 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 beautiful yarn. And I still have quite a lot left. And I am knitting another pair of socks. So, a lot. 
um, a lot of yardage and these socks are absolutely absolutely beautiful this is probably one of my favorite colors earthy beautiful color um, same pattern I used basically I've done a row of purling here just just because <laughs> just because I don't know I thought it was cute and love them I'm gonna knit many more I'm gonna buy this yarn same color and I want to knit a sweater with this yarn and holding it with a mohair of the same kind of color probably it would be gorgeous um, but that will happen in the future um, very, very amazing amazing yarn 100% recommend it love it do I even have the let me see if I have the label to show you look at these so the Rosalia Rosa Pomar I visited them in uh, Lisbon last year and they have absolutely beautiful yarns I've knitted with their yarns before love them so this is Mondim color 302 I'm gonna buy this yarn again and I bought it I bought one skein in Stockholm in a little yarn store very happy very happy um, with these socks I absolutely love them and I'll wear them a lot but I'll be careful because it's just wool it doesn't have any nylon content so I hope they will work so I have another finished object, but I gifted it. It was a little kind of ba badge, bandana, neck warmer, scarf type of pattern called... Some of you told me how to pronounce this word, but I forgot how to do it. So I'm really sorry and thank you so much for telling me. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I'll put it on the screen. That's another... Um, pattern that I've been knitting I filmed a vlog about it if you want to check it if you want to see the final result and talking about that pattern I have a whip so we're entering the whip section and um, this is that pattern oh no this yarn it's absolutely beautiful but I lose all the time the stitches so this one I follow the same pattern and instead of you know casting off after certain amount of repeats I just kept on knitting and I'm creating like a shawl and this I gifted to my mom I hope she's not watching this she does she usually watch, watches my podcast but I hope she's not watching this um, I'm knitting this for my mom because soon is gonna be her birthday and I think this is a beautiful absolutely beautiful yarn but it's not really a color that I really gravi gravitate to and it's kind of like a beautiful kind of royal violet I would say purplish gray type of color and I absolutely love the drop stitches and now you don't really see probably but it's, it's a shawl and I have only one skein I was gifted this again by Ali and um, this is oh god I forgot lion brand the Leo Cell based yarn by Lion Brand and it's so amazing S so amazingly soft and silky it's just this yarn is absolutely beautiful 
soft and silky and just luxurious. I absolutely love it. 100% Leo cells, so it's a mix probably of different plant fibers like birch and eucalyptus. Love this. Absolutely love it. And it's been a pleasure to knit on it. It's quite a quick knit, I would say, especially if you do the small version but I'm knitting it as a shawl which apparently is something that you can do with all of those little bandana you can just keep on knitting them until it be they become a shawl um, I hope my mom will like it I don't know <laughs> it's an experiment but I think she likes this color I think I've seen her wearing this color a similar one at least so that's a whip then we go into another two whips <laughs> socks <laughs> again I have sock mojo that's the only thing I really want to knit to be honest um, but I have plans of knitting something else so this is another kind of half finish object whip uh, I finished it yesterday and I started it yesterday yesterday was the first day we arrived the day before at 1 a.m. and then the day after which was yesterday we were just completely exhausted and tired so we were just watching movies and just relaxing ho at home so I've cast it on a sock and I finished it already quick <laughs> I was quick and I knitted it with this longer ribbed section so I can fold fold it like that and love so I r discovered that I absolutely am fascinated and find it so fun to knit with self striping yarns um, so I bought few more skeins of this self striping yarn this is drops fable it's fun I don't know if I love this color but I think it's cute and for socks everything is allowed I feel like um, but yeah <laughs> same pattern everyday socks by petite knit I'm knitting the size 2 I have 37 U EU shoe size I didn't block it because I just finished it yesterday and I'm gonna knit the second one soon and I cast it on this yesterday uh, I knew that I should have cast it on this one the second one of this one um, so this one <laughs> I brought with me when we went to to Sweden I brought with me this sock yarn which is drops fable the color yellow I guess <laughs> mustard and I brought this because I had the sock mojo and I wanted to knit the sock in this color but then I bought this one when I was in Stockholm and I knitted this beautiful pair of socks so I had these two colors and that was the only sock yarn I had with me and I really wanted to cast on another sock project and so I decided to knit a sock with these two colors which I don't think is the best combination to be honest it's really like Harry Potter Gryffindor color style and um, so I cast it on the a sock holding these two together or like mm, creating some sort of like striped patterns with these two yarns and I this fits perfectly on my feet and it looks beautiful uh, on my feet but I don't know if I absolutely love the color combination fits beautifully uh, <laughs> I don't know if I love this color combination but I like this part and what I'm thinking is 
so this to knit these socks it took me probably two days this one sock and I had so much pain in my thumbs for some reason I guess this kind of like using this two colors kind of I don't know my tension changed a bit and I was knitting it more tightly I don't know what happened but I had a little pain so I decided to take a break from this path, this sock project and knit another one and this one was a lot easier and faster I don't know how to explain it and okay I have enough battery and um, yeah I like it I just don't know about this sock color combination but what I'm thinking to keep myself a bit more entertained when I'll knit the second sock I think I'll reverse this um, color combination so I'll knit the heel part with this kind of rust color and then the toe part with the yellow to kind of do something a little more entertaining for myself if that makes sense and that would be fun I guess so that's another sock project and I guess we're done with socks um, we're going into another whip working progress project and I absolutely love this one you might have seen this pattern before it's the Ranunculus by Midori Hairose I've knitted this only during my airplane train journey so when I was going to Sweden and then back to Italy when we were going um, and I've almost finished it I would say I need to finish the sleeves even if I don't really have much yarn left I've been knitting it with holding these two yarns together I show I've shown you this previously um, I knitted uh, my bra with these two yarns silk and bamboo cones I don't have much left from uh, this silk cone so I think I'll just um, knit probably two rounds um, of these sleeves and then do a eye cord bind off something like that and I absolutely love this pattern um, and this yarn together it feels or these two yarns together they feel so drapey and soft and luxurious but also quite quite yeah it's kind of like a marble effect I absolutely love this um, let me just show you I finished the body yesterday actually but it was I've almost finished it in the airplane two days ago but then I just did the ribbed hem bottom hem yesterday and cast it off the body so this is the fit so it fits really nicely it's kind of like he has some good positive is but not too much I've used a uh, one size need needle smaller can you say that one size of needles smaller I used size five millimeters but I had a really loose way of knitting this um, I was holding the the yarns really like loosely so I felt really like that my gauge was pretty loose uh, so I didn't check the gauge but I think it's quite loose um, I absolutely love how this fit is probably I've knitted this pattern probably like four times and this is the fifth something like that and I think this is probably my favorite one it keeps getting better and better um, I think I'll not knit this pattern again at least not soon 
but it could be because I've knitted it so many times now I'm a bit over it but I absolutely love this pattern it's so versatile you can knit it in with so many different yarns and have so many different um, but beautiful results and uh, I like to, this yarn because it's quite drapey I think it will uh, loosen up a bit even more but it's still I don't know I'm really excited to own this piece and wear it uh, it's probably be it's gonna probably be one of the pieces that I will wear the most um, because it's so beautiful and elegant but at the same time you can wear it dress it up or dress it down and it's still gonna be nice to wear and uh, yeah so I'll just get all of the stitches here and do two rounds probably of stocking it and then just then I cord bind off but I'm not sure I'll be able to do that I'm playing yarn chicken so I think I'll just probably do an I cord bind off I, I really don't know we'll see um, but absolutely love this so what I've done is I just caked up these two yarns together and brought with me the skein um, I caked up because I didn't want to have these two big cones um, with me and uh, I managed to knit almost all of, all of it I guess <laughs> Um, so very happy um, I wanted to do a long sleeve reversion but I don't absolutely have enough yarn so happy super happy with this another beautiful beautiful whip and I think I'm done with whips um, I technically have another one but I don't want to show it to you yet because I haven't really knitted on it I have two more whips that I haven't knitted on it on them too much so I'm not gonna share that and this video is still quite long there is still quite a lot on, uh, on it so I'd probably share later on and I want to talk about accessories or like tools knitting tools um, specifically like needle cases because I want to create my needle case um, because my needle management is absolutely a mess I'll show you it's absolutely a mess I have needles spread around the house I'm trying to contain my messy Cartix self who likes to pick up needles and then just leave them when she finishes using them um, but so I want to create a nice needle case and I've been keeping my needles most of them in this bag that I crocheted last year in one day in, um, in Portugal and I added a little acorn button here so you can uh, open like that and this bag uh, I don't really love it so much the color at least I don't like it I could dye it actually so maybe I'll use it more but for now it's a needle kind of container and inside it I have stitch markers and stuff like that and then I have this, which is where I currently have, and they're coming out. It's absolutely a mess. So I made this five years ago. Um, I wanted a painting brush holder, if that makes sense. And I used this fabric and I just hand stitched it, folded it and hand stitched it and created this kind of pockets and stuff and now I'm using it for my needles but it's quite dirty this doesn't come off I've been trying to 
clean it but it doesn't and as you can see it's a mess I have needles and cables everything is just in one messy situation but I have needles also in this bag as you can see or cables and needles as well so it's absolutely It's absolutely a mess. So I want to create something similar with fabric, but bigger and better, of course. I want to create like little pockets for the cables and pockets for the needles for different sizes. I want to do a good job there and yeah, so that's a project that I want to focus on because I think that when you have really nicely organized tools, you will be able to make things more joyfully and have all of your tools in order is absolutely, I think, important for your creative process to be fun. So that's another project that I want to work with and I want to start ease in sewing with easy super easy projects so that will be an easy project I hope so um, yes so and then I want to make a sock blocker that's something that I asked Mika to do, but I don't want to pressure him so much. So if I'll manage, I'll try to make it myself out of wood. If I find a nice piece of wood and it's not overwhelmingly difficult to sew it. Um, so that's another project. And then future plans, future knitting plans, since we are in the future plan section. Um, I want to focus on one project and have of course maybe little side projects like socks. I absolutely love knitting socks and I want to knit more socks so that would be for sure something that I'll do but I want to focus on knitting a sweater for Mike. Uh, he had his birthday in uh, July and the 21st of July so I wanted to make something for him but I didn't have time and so on and now I found a pattern that he likes and the yarn that he likes um, he wants something in linen and cotton and uh, I asked him if he liked the Bumu Lin by Drops Design I mentioned it before I like it uh, it's affordable, it's simple, it has linen and cotton, that's it. And I found this beautiful deep sea ocean blue. <laughs> Very deep d dark blue. And I am in the process of buying it. And plus I'm buying some more sock yarn. Striped, self-striping yarn. Because I absolutely enjoy so much self-striping sock yarns if you have some self-striping sock yarns that you really like um, I already know the Regia, Regia self-striping yarns both the cotton and the warmer wool yarn so don't bother suggest me that one but if you have other brands or something I'll uh, be happy to check them out and um, I think we're done sorry today I feel I had so many beautiful things to show you in my opinion but I have such a strange mood today I feel like this kind of like a bit dark maybe it's the outfit and the lipstick I don't know I feel this kind of like leave me alone type of aurea that I have and uh, I guess I need some rest from all of these travels they kind of traveling uh, 
I think it can be really exciting but we kind of done so my battery is about to die again and thank you so much for joining me today I absolutely enjoyed staying here even if my aura was pretty weird um, <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy this. Let me know if you knitted some of the projects or used some of the yarns I showed you. And um, my next video will be a vlog. And I'll uh, share more vlogs in the future. I love that type of video. And uh, see you next time. And uh, sending you a lot of joy and abundance. <laughs>